Hello. So what is the page builder for big commerce? What is this thing that everybody's talking about, has been talking about for a little bit? I'm going to show you guys in this video what it is and give you guys some ideas of how to use it. Um, before we get started, my name is Cal. I'm a developer, a store owner, and I run a community for e-commerce store owners just like you and me called e-commerce growth. I'll have a link for that at the end of this video. And, um, you know, I put out videos every single week about e-commerce. So if you guys find this one helpful, subscribe and hit the bell. You can see more. All right, let me share my screen and I'm going to talk about page builder. All right. So if you come into big commerce, let me just get out of it and show you guys how to get to where I'm at. If you log into your big commerce store and go to storefront, my themes, and then click on customize of your active theme. And as a caveat, page builder is only available on stencil themes, which is any theme basically installed after 2016. So you're probably on stencil already. If you're not, then you probably know about that. You would be on the blueprint theme work if you were around from before that. And this might be a good reason to consider upgrading. But let's talk about page builder and what it is. So when you come in here to the customizer, there are these little fields that show up here, either blue fields like this or purple fields like this. And these are regions. So a region is an area within your theme that you can use page builder fields within. So for example, we could, since there's a global region down here, we could come in here and drag this text widget down here and we could say, you know, patent pending or something like that, like whatever you would need to say. And I could change that to be white. I can decrease the font size a little bit if I wanted. I can align it, stuff like that. Um, so this is kind of what a page builder field is. It just lets you put additional content on the page outside of the standard WYSIWYG, which is pretty cool. And there's lots of things you can do with this. So you guys can obviously see that, you know, it opens the potential to add things to your footer, which is great. Same thing with your header. We end up, uh, my company ends up putting a lot of like top menu bars up here where we have a couple page builder reg regions where Maybe you want to have like a free shipping over $75 type of message. That's great to use a page builder field for because it means that we can put in that one page builder field and you can update the comment easily, content easily on your end uh, whenever you like. And there's a couple different places on most themes just on the home page where you can uh, have page builder content. For example, this left right row here I'm doing with page builder fields. This whole hero section I actually did with just a page builder field in the image widget. Um, but an example of something else you might want to consider is like on the apparel, like on one of your category pages, right? Maybe you want a uh, an image at the top of it, right? So maybe you want to come up here to this full width uh, section and you want to drag in an image widget. I don't know if I have any saved in here. Let's see if I have any good ones saved i don't i'm just looking for anything that's kind of wide i don't really see anything no oh, this one right here so let's say we wanted to have that go across our you know the top of our category page right so this is let's pretend like this is an apparel picture right <laughs> so this adds a, a great way to you know add an image at the top now these are the widgets that come with uh, Big Commerce Page Builder right out of the gate. And there's 12 widgets here. There's basic text, there's layout. And you would use the layout widget to, it's a widget that holds other widgets. So for example, say you wanted to uh, use this, then you can see by default it adds two columns, but maybe you want three columns. and Maybe you want the first column to be that wide and the second column to be that wide. Then you could easily do that and maybe you want to put you know a whole bunch of text in here but you want to put like you know an image here right and maybe you want to put like some custom html over here to put a unordered list right if, if you are a cody type of person then you could do that so you can start to see like how useful this is to segment the page uh, but not just to segment the page but to get additional content on here um, so that's pretty cool. Let me just delete these out. 
And I want to show you something else that you can do with this, which is that if you install the Epic Page Builder Widgets app, which is available in the App Store, my company created it, um, it'll add a whole bunch of extra widgets to your Page Builder uh, system. So these are just showing the current free ones. There's an additional uh, six or so available right now on the premium side, including the hottest widget that we have for BigCommerce, which is an accordion widget. Uh, I don't have that turned on on this store at the moment, so you know, you'll have to look up Page Builder widgets and, and see what that looks like. But just showing you the stuff that comes along with the free one. Let's say you wanted to put something really cool here at the top, like a, sec a section here that we're calling Hero Masthead that has an image background, has a title, has uh, you know some subtitle type of content where you can write whatever you want right here to describe the category, and it has a Learn More button. Or maybe you don't want the Learn More button, so you just get rid of it. And you know now it's just like a section header that looks really cool. A lot of people want to do that sort of thing. Um, let's say you wanted to put, this is really popular, the uh, alternating banners. But I'm going to drag it down here to this column width page uh, block. So this lets you put an image here and then content to the side. And a lot of times people want to double this up. And the next one should be flipped and reversed. So if I click into that and go to image settings, I can change this one to be like that. And look at look at the page we've just built in you know 30 seconds, just using page builder widgets, you know. So think about this for like landing pages. Think about it as a way to spruce up content on your category pages and, and really just all over the place, right? Um, so this would be like putting it in the context of a category page, getting some additional content on here. But there's so many more opportunities on BigCommerce than just that. Let me just delete this here before I forget that I put it in here. Uh, all right. So if I click back to preview, then this takes away the page builder widgets view and makes all the links on the page be clickable. Uh, and so I want to click into like one of the brands that are, that's on here, the Coleman brand. And you know, BigCommerce doesn't offer you a WYSIWYG on brand pages, but you can use page builder widgets to get content on those pages so maybe you want to use our text blocks widget to you know write a whole bunch of content like this right and then we can duplicate it and we can style it um, just using these these styling elements right down here and look how easy this is right so page builder is an awesome tool uh, to get content on any type of page, uh, I showed you guys how to do it on category pages, on product pages. Uh, you know, it doesn't stop there though, because imagine we want to do something on a product page, right? So we could come in here to a product page, click into design, and you know, let's say we want an image here, but I don't really have one here in my. Oh, let's say let's say we want to put this on the page, for example. Nice little graphic here showing you how to use this item. I mean, this isn't the right graphic for this item, but imagine you had it, right? You can you can add stuff like that right here in the product view section. Like the, the possibilities are endless. Um, you can use it for things in your header. You can use it for things in your footer, category pages, brand pages, you know, product pages, about pages. We could go to the contact us page, for example, and um, we could you know put something in here like maybe you want to just spruce up your contact page and have something you know like a hero banner or something uh, above the contact form just like that you could easily do that so it really unlocks the power of you know page editing for you as a business owner for you as a business manager to put content in all kinds of places across your site now I'm just showing you how to use the page builder fields that are built into this particular theme from you know the get-go but you know if you have a place where you want page builder fields to show up then you could have a developer like me easily add an additional field wherever you want in your theme so BigCommerce doesn't limit your ability to to position these field regions wherever you want so we can put them anywhere and you can you know you can use any of their basic uh, uh, widgets you can use any of our advanced widgets 
uh, that come with the theme. And again, there's more here than I'm even showing here in this video. There is so much stuff that you guys can do with Page Builder, you guys. Um, so I just wanted to kind of show you guys some of the possibilities, explain to you guys what it is, how to use it, and really just get your, your teeth wet, if that makes sense. And, you know, I invite you guys to join our free community, which you can find at joinecommercegrowth.com up there. And if you guys need a developer, reach out to me at epicdesignlabs.com. We'll see if we're a good fit. And keep in mind, I post videos every single week here. And so if you guys are stuck with something, leave me a comment. And that might be what I talk about next week. I appreciate it, you guys. And I look forward to uh, seeing you guys on the next video. Thanks.